Uh, what's going on guys? Uh, tonight I'm here to show you my um, Junior Practicum final project. Uh, this is a hand activated music synthesizer. Um, I've got uh, four uh, IR sensors set up to read your hand distance and so each one is um, two notes. Uh, so there's a note uh, here and then there's a note closer Um, and like I said, each one's a different note. Um, and you can also speed up the tempo. Um, another feature I've included uh, is the ability to record a loop. Uh, so this switch uh, engages a recording uh, so you can place your hands and make a sequence and then turn off the switch and it will continue to play what you just recorded. So I'll do that now. And so now that is playing in the background on its own loop. Um, so now I can record an erase over that and then uh, maybe record that again. So now I can add my own uh, beats to this. So I haven't gotten great with it, but I can kind of make a few tones. And so I'll try now to make a tone um, or kind of like a series of notes. Uh, but that's it. Uh, so this is uh, programmed using a uh, National Instruments Myria. Uh, I've got that hooked up here. Uh, let me turn it off. And here's the underside of the unit. So here's that wire you were just looking at. So the wires come in here. It's actually uh, one wire is actually three taped together. And I use that just to connect to the IO on the Myria. And uh, then that comes here and I'm getting uh, IR sensor data here and here, uh, potentiometer, or now this is actually the switch. Uh, the potentiometer is this red wire. As you can see, it's right there. Um, and then I've got a 12 volt voltage regulator, 5 volt voltage regulator for the sensors, 12 volts for the audio amplifier right here. Um, and I can do a quick overview of the program. So look up here, I can get my camera to clean up. I'm on taking a recording. Um, so right here is the beginning of the program, or actually the end of the program, hold on. 
Uh, the beginning of the program is right here. Uh, this is all inside of a while loop. Um, and you can see this uh, sequence here has the IR sensors in it that reads uh, each of the four IR sensors. Uh, this sequence here reads the potentiometer that controls tempo. Um, all the data from the IR sensors, those orange lines, uh, comes down to here. Uh, it activates the external LEDs on the Myrio. Uh, it also comes up here to case statements. These case statements attribute uh, each value with a position, either close or far away. That then goes to a note number that I've assigned. All those numbers come into an array that is then fed into here where I index the recording array. This is the uh, statement that operates the recording. Uh, here's the digital read for the switch where it reads the recording or it engages recording and there's the physical LED on the unit. Uh, like I said earlier that the numbers are stored in an array. That array is fed through here and when the recording is engaged we build a new array based off the recording iteration. Um, this is the false structure where we just pass the array through so we do not add any to the recorded array. Uh, this is the final part. This is uh, where the numbers are then changed to a frequency to represent um, that note uh, middle tuned frequency. I believe it's middle tuned. I'm not a very good on music. And then right there is the output to the speaker. But uh, this is my project for junior practicum, my final. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Thank you for watching.